As we pause today to honor the memory of Dr. Martin Luther King, I would offer a brief reflection on his connectedness to the gospel values that so enriched his life and ministry. The gospel of Jesus Christ and the, the basic social teachings of the church call upon us all as teachers and as believers to go beyond tolerance. Tolerance might be the beginning, but it is not the end. Tolerance of another individual might mean accommodation, existing at a comfortable distance, or coexisting with another. Tolerance calls one to deal with another of a different ethnic or racial background as required by law. However, I would propose to you today, the law does not change hearts. The church today is being called upon to be an ongoing agent of change. From the Catholic Church's perspective, we can only begin to change hearts with the Word of God, the social teachings of the church, and programs geared toward understanding and respect for the privilege of difference. In St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, we hear, For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free person. There is not male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. St. Paul calls us to go beyond tolerance. He calls us to dialogue, to engage in conversation, in extended interaction. He calls us to be reconciled about the past, embrace the reconciled past, and be strengthened to face the future. For Dr. King, the sign of unity for which he worked was to help people engage in honest and constructive dialogue that would lead to reconciliation, trust, and understanding. There are those who feel that there are no racial problems. There are others who see race in every incident. I would see that the majority of people do want to deal with this scar, but do not know how or where to begin. Armed with the Word of God, may we use this memorial as a recommittal to help our people so that Jesus' prayer, that they might all be one, can indeed be a reality. Let us not grow weary or tired in our own efforts to eradicate racism and to promote true peace and reconcili reconciliation among those entrusted to our care. 